You spent a lot of time in Oakland making your new show. I did. Um, this is also his blind spotting. So do you do people recognize you there? Are they like, what's up? Yeah, but they don't care because they're too cool. What? <laughs> I mean, they care in the nice way, but yeah. not in the annoying way. This is. Uh, I get that too. I love that. I yeah. love fans. Yeah, people are fans. like, love you, and yeah. they're on their exactly. way. Exactly. It's pretty great. No, that's winning. Yeah, that's yeah. winning. Or if you've done a, a show that means a lot to you, and they go, I yes. got that. That's, or I'm sure if you have a yes. song that they it's really like a got. Deep cut. Yeah. yeah, and you're like, beautiful. all right. Yeah, this is um, <clears throat> the second season of this show, Blind Spotting, on yeah. Stars, based on the movie we just, that yeah, David, David yeah. Diggs and Rafael Casal made. And starred in and now they've created this show. This is our second season and it's it's so beautiful. I didn't make it so like my daughter's album, which I my daughter and her friend Rhea Garten's album yeah. that I had nothing to do with. I can promote it shamelessly. Yeah, because you're is like a I'm not beautiful <laughs> show. It's about mm -hmm. the effects of incarceration on the whole rest of the family in the community and it's really laugh out loud comedy yeah. and there's incredible choreography by Lil Buck and John Boogs and there's spoken word which I do somehow so it's That's cool. That's cool it's to so stretch cool. a different muscle yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. David is so funny. Um, <laughs> yes I love him. So you, you've described your character as a hippie loud mommy. Do you relate to that at all? Because <laughs> I do. <laughs> I th when I first got the part I'm like how am I going to play this. She's you literally just said three things that are me. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So you know, I put together what she wears. I've got a wig that's got a little more gray than I have. Mm. And she, yeah, she's the loud liberal. If no one in the room's gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. Yeah. And then I got to work and it was time to get dressed and I took off my Birkenstocks and put on her Birkenstocks. <laughs> I took off my leggings and put on her leggings. I rolled up my graying hair and put her, and I was like, there's no character here at all. Like, it's just me. <laughs> it's just like hanging it's out just, my skin. It's just me. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, though. and I got hired to do it. So it what, what did you learn about playing the role? Did you know a lot about incarceration and how it affects the family? Yeah, I mean, for different reasons, I've been, you know, as a white woman, had the privilege to learn about it more slowly than other people in our country because it yeah. saturates my community slightly less than people yeah. of color. But first of all, you know, the prison for profit thing is, yeah. it's, it's hard to wake up in the morning knowing that. Um, I remember finding that out. Yeah, no, I, it's, it's yeah. devastating. And this show, there have been beautiful uh, books and documentaries and movies made about that. And this show is talking about the effects on the mothers and the sons and the wives and mm -hmm. the sisters and the best friends. And the, loved you know, the concentric circle of, of suffering yeah. that this system causes. And somehow you don't think it's about funny. It. Yeah. No, if unless you have the privilege not to think about it. Unless it's impacting you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow.